Shishi falls on the seventh day of the seventh month on the lunar calendar, which means this August 20th is when you'll see many couples taking advantage of promotions at online shops, malls, and restaurants in China. This Chinese Valentine's Day myth speaks of Niola, the cowherder, stealing the clothes of the weaving girl, Zhinu, who is the fairy daughter of a goddess. And because he sees her naked, they must then be married. Makes perfect sense. There are many variations to this story, but they all end in the mother goddess ripping the sky in half with a pin, creating the Milky Way galaxy, and separating the two star-crossed lovers. Classic Chinese mother-in-laws. Now the two can only meet each other once a year on Qixi, when a bridge made of magpies is created. However, like many holidays throughout the world, it has grown increasingly commercial over the years. Chunar reports that the top search terms this month were Qixi and romance, with lovers looking to take a romantic excursion, Phuket, Bali, and Seoul being the top three outbound destinations. There's also the story of the Nanjing fruit salesman, who dressed up his peaches in sexy lingerie, saturating the kinky fruit market. Fireflies are another hot item for the more extravagant Tuhal, looking to jazz up their romance game. There have already been thousands of transactions, but the good news is, if you buy more than 10,000, each firefly is only 2 RMB. What a deal! While some will travel or exchange gifts to show their love, others will still participate in more traditional customs, like releasing a paper lantern and making a wish. Many insist that Qixi is a traditional holiday about celebrating long-distance love, but the financial world doesn't seem to have gotten the memo. Leave looking like a million bucks, but maybe a thousand quai with fewer headaches is the right look for you.